from the general Orange River region, Northern Cape of South Africa. Now these have uh, fascinated me, this, this particular section, I'm not sure where this hails from. Uh, Kubus, Kubus is a possibility, but what we have, first of all, let me take you around the crystal, the general crystal. And it's partially caked or coated with uh, some uh, girthite, so a hematite which would have lost its oxygen. Maybe a dusting of some feldspar across here. Lots of self-healing on the on the sides. Almost going towards a scepter-like formation on, on this edge, or maybe more elestial than scepter. And then you have this inclusion of the hematite inside, which makes lovely, lovely drawings. And there seems to be a mild undertone of amethyst in here too. So a very, very interesting piece from the general Orange River region, Northern Cape of South Africa. So exactly where you can never be sure. The guys never tell you exactly where they are digging. Of course, they, they want to sell it to you. They don't want you to go dig yourself, but it's not so easy. Um, I've actually known of people who've lost their cars in Namibia when they decide to, to do a mountain goat in the mountains, go looking for stones. They leave their car in the desert, and when they come back, there's no tires left, and there's no, well, it's been stripped for pots. All the way from the General Orange River region, Northern Cape of South Africa, hematoid ferruginous hematite-included quartz, maybe a touch of amethyst in here as well.